How's everybody doing today? And as you can see, we are at episode 9 of the Zero Overall Rebuild. If you guys are continuing to enjoy the series, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe if you're new and enjoy the content, and as always, make sure you leave some comments because you guys have been showing amazing support on the, all videos that I've been uploading. So the more you guys leave comments, the more I can like, you know, interact with you guys, as well as just kind of hear your feedback of the series, what you guys like, what you guys don't like. And also, you know, let me know some of your favorite players because I have a couple favorite players of mine, but I always want to know what you, who you guys are enjoying and things like that. I know we haven't really had a big chance to like showcase the players because there's only been eight episodes, but um, we definitely will start getting more episodes out. I'm currently doing a huge bulk recording, so I'm hoping to get through season two in this bulk recording that I'm doing so you guys can have a few episodes coming out in the next few days so you you basically will you guys should get a good chunk uh, a good week or so of episodes like every day so that's basically what's coming for you guys with that being said if you guys missed last episode you, sh you should probably check it out because uh we we had a good month we got two wins in the last month um and we had a pretty solid game at fenway and then we had an amazing draft pick. This guy is going to be unreal. Geraldo Villanueva. He's a six foot, yeah, six foot five shortstop, lefty bat, and he's 18 years old. He's 74 overall with a potential. And to be honest, our draft wasn't that bad. We got a reliever who's got 72 potential. We got a an outfielder who's got some speed, but he also He's got 78 potential, which isn't bad. Another outfielder with some really good speed. So we have two pinch runners, maybe, um, which is unheard of. We don't have a lot of speed in the team. We got uh, a couple relievers. Um, Kaufman being the highlight one where he's got 81 potential. And then Cavazos, who's a starter, who's got 81 potential. So overall, the draft was pretty solid as well as the, the episode. You know, we got, two, we got two wins last time. So let's... Let's see if we can continue getting a win each month, I think it is now. Um, yeah, we've gotten a win every month so far this season. Let's see if we can make it a streak. Can we make it five of five? I think, I think. But heading into July, I'm thinking we play the Cincinnati Reds and mostly because they did add Manny Machado in the offseason. I think that's a really big name for them. They have Eugenio Suarez, Scooter Jeanette. And they've actually got a pretty decent team. So I think this is the game that we should play. Mostly, mostly because we've played the Braves. We've played the Nationals. We haven't played the Phillies, but I'm not really too interested just yet in playing the Phillies. Um, we've also played the Orioles and then the Brewers. The Brewers are just kind of eh. So I'm thinking playing the, the Reds um, with Manny Machado is the move. Alrighty, so this month hasn't been going too great. Our closest game was a 1-4 loss against the Nationals. But um, going into this one, I feel like we've used each pitcher this time, this uh, uh, out of these three. So I'm thinking maybe we go with Almanzar just because he's kind of he's the best pitcher we got, and I feel like that's our best chance to continue this monthly win streak that we have so heading into this game let's let's see how we go you know we're 497 not the best the reds are just above 500 i'm just not a huge fan of like gray road jerseys so we got to add a little flavor go with a bit of a throwback and then we're gonna go almanzar up i don't I, yeah of course he's had a rough spot we have a horrible team how are we supposed to do good with them um, Sean Robles is a little tired, so Danilo Prince is going to come in. At first base, we're going to bring in Clyde Niles. And outside of that, I think we're going to go with a standard lineup here. I think. Yeah. Um, yeah, we'll go with that. And then let's hop into it and see how the game is going. This is the Reds lineup. Billy Hamilton, Jesse Winker, Machado, Vado, Jeanette. Suarez, Guerrero, Gabby Guerrero, Tucker Barnhart, and Brandon Finnegan. Okay, not too bad. The pitching matchup here, I mean, it's it's not a bad pitcher to come up against. You know, it kind of helps us that we're going up against a guy who's got a 526 ERA. We are in Cincinnati for this matchup. As I said, we are 4-97. and Brandon Finnegan, 20 starts, 7-6 and record, a 526 ERA, just under 100 innings. 
I mean, if we ever to come up against the pitcher, maybe this is the one to do it. So Victor Victor is going to lead off for us. Got a pretty favorable call on that slider. All right, I'm, I'm not going to complain about that. Maybe the umps are on our side for once. The cord out so we can charge it. Next at bat. Ooh, that's not good. But he's delivered in a couple instances. I mean, he's got a uh, one homer and 11 ribbies on the season, which isn't bad. He goes after a pitch in the dirt. That was a bad at bat by me. That just, I swung at everything. And a poor throw by Barnhart means Maverick Moss is going to reach. Okay. So we got Kevin Page up. This, like, our star catcher now. Like, I, I'm really glad we got him drafted. And... I don't, did he get all of that? Oh, man. I bet, I bet it was because I was a little early. But if I was, I, I'm, I'm pretty sure it was because I was a little early. I need to see the, yeah, if I was good, good on that, we have our first actual home run of the series. Like the one that, like we actually hit a home run controlling somebody. Maybe we, you know, drafting some outfielders was the good move. Yancey Esmond's just not seeing the ball well. And unfortunately, he's going to ground out to sec or the shortstop. And uh, Manny Machado is going to make the play. It's pretty easy for him. Fifth pitch of the at-bat. Curveball. And he just keeps fouling everything off. There we go. Splitter down the middle. And Billy Hamilton shows that he is just not a good hitter. And strikes out on it. Let's uh let's just keep people off the bases. That's that's a big thing here. Jesse Winker hits it to Maverick Moss. Should make the play. And he does. Two up, two down. And I'm pretty sure it's Joey Votto up next. No, it's actually Manny Machado. I remember pitching with Almanzar last time. It was a little bit difficult to control him. So I'm kind of hoping that we don't have that same issue. One, two count still, two outs. Going low curveball. Ooh, Manny Machado goes down swinging. And we get a 1-2-3 inning in the bottom of the first. Heading into the second, I'm not going to complain about that. Almanzar, solid inning. Rain Rodney over the last four games is hitting a solid 500. Unfortunately, he's 184 on the year. 16 ribbies, no homers. But we'll see if we can uh, keep this hot streak he's got going. Unfortunately, grounds to Jeanette. And he's not gonna, not gonna start the game off with a hit, but that that should have been a that should have been a hit. I I should have gotten you know squared on that. Good, good, centered up pretty well, and I don't get a hit. Mm. The first pitch that I swung at should have been a base hit. Second one definitely deserved to be an out. And Pepito should make it a three pitch inning. That's not good. That's not good at all. Danilo Prince. Oh, can he make the play? He does. There we go. Two up, two down here in the second. It's going pretty solid. Eugenio Suarez, another dangerous bat. You know, two, three, what is it? The three, four, five hitters. Pretty, pretty good. You know, oh, this is actually, what, six now? I don't, I can't count. That's basically what it comes down to. So you got Machado in the three spot, Vado in the four, Jeanette in the five. And Suarez in the sixth. That's, you know, that's a pretty good heart of the lineup right there. And uh, because I threw three straight balls, that's gonna be ball four. So the perfect games out of, out of the uh, possible situations. But you know what? That's okay. It's a walk with two outs. I'm gonna follow it off. Gabby Guerrero's up to the dish. Let's see if we can uh, get him out here. Splitter down in the dirt. He goes after it, and we get the K. Almanzar. You know, he walks the guy, but doesn't matter. We still get the out. I would love to be the first team to strike on this uh, whole hit hit situation. And we look like we're going to. Victor Victor Mesa hits it right up the middle. There we go. 86 speed on first. Definitely solid. One out. And then we, we don't have as much power in the lineup. Robles and Merrill are on the bench. They were, you know, kind of tired, about half stamina, so I didn't really want to play them. But with the lefty on the mound, can't really steal with Victor Victor Mesa. So we just gotta, we gotta make sure if we do try to move him on the base paths, 
it's on the right pitch. So, one out. Maverick Moss is up. Base hit would be nice here. Come on, Kevin Page. That's going to squeeze by. Not going to send Victor Victor to third. The right fielder is playing pretty in. Even though I think he probably would have made it to third safely. Yeah, I'm going to take it. Kevin Page just takes the outside pitch to right field. That's that's good hitting. That's what you're supposed to do with outside pitches. Just take it that way. And uh, we got first and second. Danilo Prince is up. Not bad at all. There are two outs. A little bit unfortunate, but we can definitely still do something with it. And as I say that, we hit a chopper straight to the pitcher. And he's going to ground out. So opportunity wasted, but we do strike first in the hit column. We get the first two hits of the game. Not not, not horrible. You know, the bats are starting to heat up. There we go. Nice little slider by Almanzar to start the inning. Pretty sure this is Tucker Barnhart. Splitter down in the zone. 0-2 count. Not bad at all not too shabby all right fastball outside and the reds are gonna strike now tucker barnhart come on and i'm pretty now the pitcher's up so they're gonna sacrifice bunt not not what i wanted unless we get the lead runner maybe even turn two here we're not gonna turn two but at least we got the lead runner clyde niles off the you know off the pitch pretty or at once he threw the pitch he was pretty quickly you know down the line to get that bunt i'll take that now we got billy hamilton up turning two is going to be difficult with billy hamilton but if we get the lead runner that'd be nice oh please come on yancey make the play he made the play yancey made the play he normally doesn't make those he usually misses that so that's a that's really good for us all right uh, did it again got a slider that's a good pitch to hit and I'm early on it it's an 81 mile an hour slider I gotta sit back on that that time I swung at garbage and we're gonna go down one two three I need to get my head straight I need to get my timing down because we're getting good pitches to hit I'm just not seeing the ball well so all right Manny Machado's up and this is the part of the lineup I'm, I'm kind of fearing you know Machado Vado. Jeanette, Suarez, this is a dangerous heart of the lineup right here. All right, we're sitting 2-2. Can we get him with this slider? And this not where I wanted it, but we are going to get a ground ball. It's going to be a quick first, not a quick first out, but at least we got the out. I think that was like a, a six or seven pitch in it, or at bat. Joey Votto up. All right, got to be careful here. Can't be throwing him that. That is something we cannot do. That is... That is not a good spot for that pitch. That's a ball? Oh, blue. You got to... Mm, I guess he forgot his glasses, you know. And Joey Votto is going to take that up the middle. <sighs> I mean, it's 27 speed on first. So a grounder, we should be able to get the lead runner. But like I said, this is a, this is a dangerous part of the lineup. Scooter Jeanette's up now. Man, this is not good. They're starting to rack up some hits. Maybe get a rally going. First and second, one out. We got Eugenio Suarez up now. Got to be careful. Oh, we got the lead runner at third. They try to do a little hit and run. They do, have, they do still have a guy in scoring position, but that is a second out. Kevin Page making the throw. All right. Oh, gets him on the splitter, down and away. Can we get him with the slider? Here we do, and we get out of that jam. No runs scored. Eugenio Suarez goes after a ball way out of the zone. Ooh, that was clutch right there. 0-1 count to Almanzar. And Almanzar gets a single. There we go. Okay, the pitcher trying to help his cause. Just slaps it to, you know, slaps it opposite field. I'll take, you know, a little oppo hit. Um, hands are off the controller because with my luck, I'm going to swing at garbage otherwise because I think it looks really good. And there we go. Ball four, first and second. We got Kevin Page up, which he's hitting 239 on the year. 
He's one for two today. Please drop. Oh man. That oh that drops, that's a run. If that drops, that's a run. Well that's what you want from your Two two count now. Ooh, that's that's dangerous. Come on, Victor. He's got 71 speed. Throw it in. I don't want a leadoff triple. It's going to be a leadoff triple. Oh, he stopped at second. Okay. Ooh. Mm. All right. We got to gotta be careful here now. All righty. 2-1 to Barnhart. He got a little bloop single last time. I, I can't afford that. 71 speed. All right. We get the first out, but we there is a runner on third. So we're in a little bit of a pickle. And he's got 71 speed. I think I just mentioned that, actually. Pitchers up, just like a little infield pop-up, that'd be ideal. Yikes. Rain Rodney, turn around, make the play, throw it home. Two outs, like I said, a little little infield line-out pop-up would have been perfect. We get it. The back to the top of the lineup, Billy Hamilton. Whew, we got... Anything on the ground is going to be scary close, so I kind of don't want him to hit a grounder. Victor Victor should make this play, and that should mean we're out of another little tough situation. No run score. Heading into the sixth. Still 0-0 ball game. Man, this, this game's a little little slow. A little slow on the action. Already 0-1. Two outs. That's going to be a ground out to Machado again. So a 1-2-3 inning. <sighs> it looks like this is going to have to have some late inning like magic from us so that we can win this game. Got to hit our spots. We walk the lead off batter. Machado up now. Oh, baby. This is not good. Mmm. Ah, I thought maybe Niles would have been able to make the play first and second, no outs. Vado's up now. And I, I think that's it for Almanzar. He's starting to get a little tired. We're going to bring in Hippolito. Got to hit his spots here. All right, throw it in. Hit the cutoff. All right, bases loaded, no outs. We're, ooh, we're, we're in some danger now. We're definitely in some danger. Alrighty, 0-2 to Jeanette. Not, not a bad start. That's going to get the run home, unfortunately. <sighs> One to nothing, Cincinnati Reds. It just all came crumbling down pretty quickly. He doesn't go after the slurve. Are you serious? Oh man, this is dropping. This is dangerous now. Good thing Vado's super slow because otherwise I think that's two runs and it's a it would have been a three run ball game, but <sighs> it is now a two run ball game. Hippolito's in a little bit of a, a confidence lacking some confidence. So we're gonna we're gonna bring in Adam Malachi. Hopefully he can uh, stop the bleeding before it gets a little out of hand. <sighs> Probably bringing in another run, though. Jesus, that carried. It's definitely bringing in Vado. Even though Vado is super slow, it just was hit so deep, and it just kept carrying. Now it is Now it is a three-run ball game. So <sighs> Possibly a four-run ball game. Come on. Throw it in. Can we get him out at home? I don't think we are. Oh, we do. There we go. The relay gets the runner. And it is limited to three runs. We got, we got some work to do here. What is it? The seventh now? We definitely got some work to do. Top seven. They have Betances in the bullpen. Oh, man. All right. We're going to bring in Stuart Merrill to pinch hit for uh, Malachi. I mean, we're limited in our offensive opportunities, and it's a ground ball to third, and we're going down one, two, three again. Man, we just we just can't get the bats going. We're gonna bring in Troy Lee. Hopefully, he can get us two innings. 
That would be very nice. All right, here in the bottom of the seventh, Lee has gotten the first two batters out. It is Winker up now. Oh, I probably should have just... I probably shouldn't have dove. I think the animation was carrying Niles to make the play. And it just gets under the glove. All right. So, just as I was saying, Lee gets the first two batters out. I go and jinx it. And that happens. So, now he's got Machado up. And there's a 1-1 one, one count with two outs. So, we got to be careful here. We can't let this get out of hand again. And it shouldn't. Kevin Page is there. Should make the out. And he does a, you know, a, a not a bad inning. You know, Lee should be able to go back out there the next inning. There we go. I'll take that. A little base hit in the center. I was kind of, I wasn't going to say anything because I thought it was going to be one of those line drives that just hangs way too much. And uh, luckily for us, it didn't. This time it actually got down in center. I can't complain about that. So Maverick Moss is up now. Let's get a little, let's get our rally started. Let's get some runs. I think this is going to be one that hangs up a little bit too much in center. Definitely does. And that's going to be the first out of the inning. I'm going to take the hands off the controller. It's 3-0. All right, we get a walk. First and second. One out. And we got Danilo Prince. 0 for 2 on the day. He does have a walk. But I feel like... Let's bring in... Oh, but Robles is a lefty. All right, we'll keep Prince in. Even though Robles does have better hitting stats. I don't know, lefty and lefty, though. Just missed that changeup. Got to be patient. Got to wait for our pitch. I don't think that's it. Ah, just hangs. All, all our line drives to the outfield just hang too much. There it is. There. Oh, wow. Uh, Kevin Page rounded second so poorly. And I was quiet because I was like, oh, God, he's getting thrown out at third. But Yancey Esmond delivers with his, his signature hit. Just a slap up the middle. Gets a run on the board for us. Victor comes in from second. Dellen Batansis is coming in. Man, the Reds have made some serious moves. I guess they've only really made two, but, um, I mean, it's it's better than nothing. So, here we go. Rain Rodney's up, and that that one's definitely hanging too much in center. Unfortunate, because that would have scored another run. But, hey, we did get one on the board. Heading into the bottom of the eighth, we just we can't allow any runs here. Oh, I thought at least the... Someone would have gotten it, but it somehow squeaks by the pitcher, gets by Maverick Moss. Ah, uh, now we got to bring in Darby Jarvis. Ooh, that was almost bad. That was almost a little slap hit over there. Um, can you just stop, Scooter Jeanette? We're 0-2. I don't need you doing this. Jarvis has no stamina. Oh, baby, what a strikeout. There we go. I was going to say, Darby Jarvis has got no stamina to begin with. I can't be having him going like too many pitches. Gonzalez is going to come in now. And I guess for safety reasons, I probably should have someone warming up. Ooh, just missed on the slider. Okay. Are you kidding me? Are you serious? What luck on that hit and run? <sighs> that is just that's not even like a somehow inside outs that fastball you gotta be kidding me on a hit and run so we got 2-2 now Ooh, he was early on the fastball yikes all right come on let's get him with the change up and he hits it up the middle for a base hit Makes it a three-run game again. Just can't catch a break. This is... That got by him? Oh, Kevin Page! Kevin Page! Kevin Page! Kevin Page! I get that it gets by you. But you can't, you can't miss that. 
you can't you can't miss the ball that just went right to you like that. Oh man. Oh, this is it's just falling apart now. It's it's all falling apart. All right, that should be the end of the inning. Make the play, and it is a four-run ball game. I can't. Oh, uh, this is this is not good. This is not good at all. Amir Garrett comes in for them. We got Niles, uh, Americo, and the pitcher spot. That's actually a really well hit ball, but. Billy Hamilton's definitely got the speed and the range to make that. So two up, two down. We're going to bring in Sean Robles, even though they have a lefty on the mound. Really one of our best bats. Oh, man. Last chance. Actually, Pepito got good good on that pitch, and he, he just unfortunately it hung too much for Billy Hamilton. So here we go. Two outs. Come on, Robles. 2-0 count. <sighs> this game just fell apart quickly. Very quickly. That's, uh, that's going to be out number three. I already know it. Oh, it actually is going to get down. I thought that was just one that was just going to that was gonna be caught. It's just one of those games where it just doesn't seem like anything was going to go right for us. But, hey, Robles, two out double. Ooh, okay. Nice piece of hitting there. Victor Victor's up now. Good, good on a fastball. I'll definitely take that. So come on, Victor, Victor. At least get us one more run on the board. Uh, I don't think that's going to. Good piece of hitting. Just dead center field. And unfortunately for us, we take the L in Cincinnati. <sighs> I mean, El Menzar, two runs on five innings. Can't complain. I mean, he pitched well. It was just... You know, once once the ball started rolling in Cincy's favor, it just kind of got out of hand, and we just kind of fell apart. But unfortunately, and unfortunately for us, it means another loss. So that that sucks. That really does suck. I could I mean, ah, uh, I feel like I feel like yeah, that was, it. Just it just was not a good game for us. You know, it just didn't work out. I. I never would have thought Brandon Finnegan would have been a tough pitcher to face, but he definitely was. Alrighty, so to finish out the month of July, let's see how it goes. Again, we get a victory. How the CPU is killing it for us. Five wins on the season. And that's actually the second time we've beaten the Nationals. Um, so, hey. Ray Almanzar has won two games against the Nationals this season. Uh, we're going to sim through the trade deadline because the only acquisitions we do make are at the end of the season through trades or free agency. And so, did that say Jose Barrios is going to the Yankees? That's a pretty big uh, move right there. But again, CPU delivers for us and we keep the streak of at least one win a month happening so i hope you guys enjoyed this episode unfortunately for us it was a little lackluster you know the offense just wasn't rolling and i feel like i, I need to just i need to figure out timing i feel like you know this this laid into the game i should figure it out but i guess i guess i just don't play consistently enough i'm more of like a let the cpu handle everything type of person so now it's time for me to actually step up and deliver so i hope you guys enjoyed today's episode if you did make sure you hit that like button down below subscribe if you're new and enjoy the content and as always leave some comments you know your favorite players who you guys actually maybe maybe your least favorite player who you guys want to see out of the team and stuff like that so i'll catch you all in the next video peace